Hello, this is Wiley from Learn to Barbecue. This is another video featuring the GoSun Sport Solar Cooker, and this time we're cooking boneless and skinless chicken thighs. We got a package of boneless and skinless chicken thighs that weighed approximately 3.38 pounds. The GoSun Sport Solar Cooker manual says it can cook up to 3 pounds of food, so this should be a good test. Before adding the chicken, it is best to spray the inside of the tray with cooking oil. When adding the chicken, it is best to start from the opposite side from where the handle is. Also, because I am monitoring the internal or ambient temperature of the tray, the probe took up space, only allowing me to put 2.5 pounds of chicken in the tray. Now, 2.5 pounds of chicken can easily feed 3 to 4 people. The other probe I use is a needle meat probe that I insert right into the middle of the chicken thighs. The one thing you do with this cooker you would not do in a normal oven is you need to push all the meat together. The less air space between the pieces, the better. Now dress the probe cables through the small notch at the top of the seal. To make this as easy as possible, I have the only seasoning I'm going to use is Montreal Chicken Seasoning. With the seasoning applied, it is now time to insert into the GoSun Sport Solar Cooker. The tray should slide in very easy, and if it does not, check for any interference. Also, make sure it's fully inserted against the seal. Outside, make sure the cooker is pointed towards the sun and both reflectors are fully open. Now, here is the fireboard temperature chart showing the full cook. The beginning temperatures were ambient or internal stove temperature of 82 degrees Fahrenheit and the meat temperature of the chicken thighs was 49.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Total cooking time was 55 minutes, and that is without any preheating. Actually, you are not supposed to preheat the GoSun Sport, or you could damage it. Final temperatures were ambient, 232.7 degrees Fahrenheit, and the food temperature was 187.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Please note, I lost track of time and was supposed to pull the chicken at 175 degrees Fahrenheit so cooking time would have been 8 minutes shorter. Now for all of you that noticed the ambient temperature started dropping halfway through the cook, please be aware this was not a lack of sunlight or any failure with the sport. When the cooker gets above 212 degrees Fahrenheit, water within the food begins to boil or evaporate. As water evaporates, it turns into steam and starts finding its way out of the cooker. Our ambient probe is positioned right where the steam escapes. That evaporation by the probe actually cools the probe down. The more important graph is the meat temperature, for not only is it linear, it actually slightly accelerated as it got closer to the time to pull the cook. Here you can see the steam escaping. And here are the fully cooked boneless chicken thighs. The first thing you notice is how good the food smells. Also, the chicken has plenty of moisture in the tray. If I had cooked this chicken to 187 degrees Fahrenheit in a conventional oven, it would have dried out. But as you can see, this chicken is extremely moist. As I cut into the chicken, you can see it is completely cooked. There is not one bit of pink, but also there is no sign of it being overcooked. Now it is my favorite part of the video, the taste test. You can see this is very tender, for I can cut with the side of a fork. 
Okay, one more bite just to make sure. One big shaky thumbs up. Bon appetit. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Also, we really appreciate your watching.